Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Hub. So today I am going to discuss one of the TCS Code Beta Season 8 question that is the filler and point. Uh, before I move on to discussing the question, the logic of the question, I would request you to pause the video, read this question carefully and then start the video. Okay. So this is the first page. This is the explanation. Just have a look. Uh, so I hope you have read the question. Now let's start discussing. So basically what they have said is they will give you a maximum amount like suppose for example I have considered here n equals to 10. So they have asked to generate uh, the number of denominations that will be sufficient to um, make any amount of money starting from 1 to the maximum value that is 10 okay here it is 10 so let's see what the denominations what they have given they have given in the answer 1 2 3 5 this is one set and the another set is 1 2 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's check uh, whether the first set is able to produce the uh, amount from 1 to 10. Okay, let's see. Suppose I want to check whether we will get amount 10 or not using the first set. Let's see for the first one. So for 10, I will take $5, then $3, then $2. So add it up, you will get 10. To check 9, what you will do? You will take 3, 5 and then 1. You will get 9. For 8, 3 plus 5, 8. For 7, uh, you will take 5 dollar and then 2 dollar coin. So you will get 7 dollar. To check 6 dollar amount, uh, you will take 5 dollar. Then you will take 1 dollar coin. So you will get 6 for 5. 5 is already present. For 4, you will take 3 dollar coin then 1 dollar coin. For 3 dollar, already 3 is present for 2, 2 is already present for 1, 1 dollar coin is already there so it's enough uh, same goes for 1 uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 you can verify it yourself now let's see um, for another n value okay like suppose if I take 17 so here the denominations would be 1, 2, 4, 8 16 okay so uh, you can evaluate it yourself okay if I evaluate it, the video would become longer um, so one thing I want to say that I did not take 32 because this denomination would become greater than this maximum amount so it will be of no use okay so I will take less any amount of denomination that will be less than equals to this maximum value okay so I hope you would have got a little bit idea how our logic would be see here they have given 1 2 3 5 seeing this you would get frightened oh my god what is happening here also 1 2 3 4 you will think that oh this is a simple series uh, starting from 1 2 3 4 it will go till n and you will end up uh, um, outputting the value uh, like you will give the last value that is the 4 you will you will go and print the value 4 okay but for this scenario you will get the answer 4 because the number of denominations here is 4 and 1 2 3 4 all are satisfying the condition but th that thing will not hold here if I output here 16 so it's not of that correct okay it's not correct so I hope you are understanding that I have given it's a GP series okay so I hope you have got the idea and uh, if I show you the logic this is the logic for if the maximum amount is 1 then output only 1 I am storing the answer in C value Okay, this is for counting the number of denominations. Basically, that is what you have to print. Okay, 
and uh, for if you have uh, uh, the maximum amount greater than one so this is the logic for that if you are unable to understand this thing let me explain it so this is a do while loop okay let's see let's take this one 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 now let's break it up further you will see that among 2 4 8 16 2 is common so let's 2 as the common okay now let's break it up further 1 plus among 2 4 8 2 is common so let's take 2 as the common Among 2 and 4, 2 is the common. Now, can you can you see this is same as this 1 plus 22? If I write into p here, see at the starting our p is 1. Okay, see here we have taken at the starting p equals to 1. So there are no issues. Uh, two multiply one is one. So there is no issue. So in the first iteration, this thing will um, this will this thing will be evaluated and stored in p variable. Okay. So let's replace it with p. So now for second iteration, you will get the same thing and this will be replaced with p in the next iteration this thing will become p okay and at last this thing will be stored in p and accordingly you are um, storing uh, counting the number of iteration here okay in that way you are counting the number of denominations so here in this case um, you will get 5 okay so this is the logic i hope you have understood what i try to explain it to you um, don't uh, just see go by the explanation uh, value they always misguide you apply your own logic just try to understand what is given and use your brain okay so that is it Thank you for watching the video, do like, share and subscribe.